Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sina Itwarek. Um, I'm honored to be with you here tonight uh, to share some of my reflections regarding to uh, reconciliation. First and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge that uh, we are on the ancestral, traditional, and unceded territories of Squamish, Muskiam, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. Furthermore, I'd like to acknowledge that I share from a settler's perspective and from my own experience as an East African living in Canada. I also recognize that I still have much to learn about the history of these communities. I began learning about the struggles faced by immigrants and indigenous people through my involvement with Fresh Voices, Fresh Voices Initiative of Vancouver Foundation. As an, as an immigrant myself, these initiatives were very uh, valuable to me. Along with Fresh Voices, I also engaged with PureNet BC, where, I, in, where they encouraged me to join Canadian Roads Exchange. It is a national youth-led non-for-profit that delivers reconciliation programs, hosts gatherings and uh, works toward bridges, bridging the gap between indigenous and non-indigenous communities for young people. CRE enabled me to develop my leadership skills and work with an amazing group of young uh, youth who believe that reconciliation is uh, possible. When I joined CRE, I was welcomed with warm smiles and training on working with youth, indigenous, and newcomers community, and given responsibility for projects re centered on reconciliation. It's a fact that many Canadians are not aware of indigenous history due to the lack of formal education on the subject being <coughs> provided by the responsible bodies to teach about indigenous history. In addition, new immigrants don't have much opportunity to learn about indigenous people and their history. I believe that history, history is crucial in the reconciliation process. Living in Eritrea, a country that has had a long history of colonization, I witnessed the negative impact of colonization. Similarly, we went from nuclear communities to dispersed and disconnected people. Our creative our creative architecture was destroyed for the sake of modern Italian architecture. This made us think that foreign was always better. We began devaluing ours. We didn't work towards building upon what our ancestor, ancestors had left behind. Empathy towards the disadvantaged, disadvantaged creates activism. The indigenous people are, are at disadvantage here. Let's all empathize with each other and reconcile with ourselves first and our communities. We say when you go to Rome, dress like, dress like Romans. When we as immigrants come here, we should learn the ways of the indigenous people because they have run these lands better and in a sustainable way. And my message to my fellow Africans, as an, as an African, we have to reconcile with, our, with ourselves and decolonize our mentality through learning about our history and culture. In this globalized world, it's easy to get lost in a day-to-day -day routines of life, but let's remind ourselves of who we are and what we represent. And I'd like to read this amazing poem that resonates with me in so many ways by Aboriginal poet Rita Joy. I lost my talk. I lost my talk, the, took, the talk you took away when I was a little girl at Shubnakedi school. You, you snatched it away. I speak like you. I think like you. I create like you. The scrambled ballad about my word. The t two ways I talk, both ways I say. Your way is more powerful. So gently I offer my hand and ask, let me find my talk so I can teach you about me. I'll conclude by reciting a famous quote by Nelson Mandela. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to, if you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. So my fellow Africans and everyone, let's find our talk and talk, to, talk heart to heart so we can teach the world about us. Thank you.